What's up, everybody? It's Andrew with Apex Cards. I um, I was thinking about the storage locker that I bought this week, and uh, I think about it quite a lot because, uh, you know, it encompasses my entire garage at this point. And um, I was thinking about the first time that the door, you know, rolled up on that storage locker and kind of what I immediately saw and I knew I was going to buy this sucker right, right when it opened up. And um, let me show you this. This box right here was sitting on the floor um, when the storage door opened. There were just, uh, it, was, it was very obvious. These are colorful boxes. And uh, it was sitting there. And I knew immediately that this storage locker held a ridiculous amount of value. I mean, there were cards stacked to the ceiling. I mean, this thing was 20 foot long, you know, 10 foot high, and there was stuff to the ceiling. But um, I saw this box and I knew immediately th this box alone was worth maybe $10,000. And uh, that turned out to be correct. So what you're looking at here um, is a box of Yu-Gi-Oh decks, starter decks. Um, and these are fairly valuable. They're made in, I believe, um, this says, let's see here. 1996 on it. These weren't made in 96. I think these were made in 2002 or 2003. So there are a couple in here. There's two main types. There's this Joey starter deck, and then there's this purple one, which is um, starter deck Kaiba Evolutions. Kaiba Evolutions. Um, and they're, it's notable to say that they're not first edition. Um, these are I guess, unlimited decks um, for the Yu-Gi-Oh! game. Um, I wasn't familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh! the card game. I'm more familiar with Pokemon and sports cards, um, specifically uh, Pokemon at the time. But when I saw these, I assumed that there was a ridiculous amount of, of sealed Pokemon product in, in the storage unit. That turned out to be not true. There was no Pokemon at all. And in fact, there was no uh, even raw Pokemon cards in the entire unit. You know, millions of cards, not a single Pokemon card. Very weird. Not a single magic card either, um, which is also weird, but um, there was this Yu-Gi-Oh. And so, um, oh yeah, there, there was one of these. This is a, a different deck. So there's one of this one, which is some kind of structure deck, Dragon's Roar structure deck. It's not as valuable as these other ones. The most valuable deck in this box is this green one here, this Joey deck. Um, I was selling these earlier in 2021 for... 250 a piece all day long. Um, they were selling so well, I decided to stop selling them. I thought maybe, well, um, what if I sit on these another couple years? I mean, these things might turn into $500 decks. So um, I did continue to, to sell the purple ones. They're now selling for like 100, 150 ish range right now on eBay. Um, I don't have any listed now, but all of the ones that have sold in the past year or so were sold by me because you just don't no one's got these, right? Like who has 43 Yu-Gi-Oh starter decks? Uh, you know, can't be that many people from 2003, right? Can't be too many people who hoarded these. So, um, you know, I've got the majority of the supply and basically I can control the market on these, uh, especially these green ones. You don't see these green ones pop up at all uh, or very often at least. So anyway, um, I've sold maybe 10 of the purple ones and five or six of the green ones at this point. And this is what I have left. There were 43 or 47, something like that to begin with. And, um, this is kind of what's left. So, um, this, this box alone paid for the storage unit. Even if I had gotten nothing else, this box alone and, you know, paid for the storage unit. So, um, it was obvious to me right from the beginning um, that this was an incredible deal and I had to do whatever I had to do to buy the, buy the storage locker. And that's exactly what happened. I bought it. Um, now there wasn't m any more sealed, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. There was a lot of sealed, um, sports cards. You know, we've got this, this case here. This is the case of, um, 1990-91 Skybox. This is a series one. This is a, there's 20 boxes in here. It's a black box, um, a Skybox black box. And, um, those boxes sell for around 50, 50 a piece. So, um, you know, it's a thousand dollar case basically at the moment. And, uh, and the prices are always going up on these cases. So, um, that there, there were other sealed cases, many other sealed cases, there's cases of sealed hockey, other cases of sealed basketball. This is the one that just happens to be sitting here beside these, uh, this Yu -Gi -Oh. like this is a case here, but it's not sealed. And these aren't particularly valuable either, but, um, 
you know, here's some other stuff in here. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this ridiculous box of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, probably, you know, $15,000 worth of Yu-Gi-Oh cards in here if they sell at the top of the market. You know, let's, let's say conservatively, cut that in half, $7,000 worth uh, left sitting here. So um, pretty amazing, pretty amazing stuff. And I've just kind of got them in here chilling in this cardboard box. Maybe I'll eventually pack them up and put them away in storage. But um, yeah, pretty, pretty wild story. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, anyway, thanks everyone. Please uh, like and subscribe. We're headed towards 100 subscribers, which is pretty cool. And um, I, uh, I hope you guys hope to see you guys uh, at the next video. I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.